Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be going over the stuff I refused to do last week because it would take too long and I didn't quite know how to do it either. So let's get right into it. So if you read the title of the description, you know, today we're going to be sending audio from the M32 into vMix, sending audio from vMix into the M32, doing mix minuses on both, and only using a single USB cable. That's the goal. So let's jump right in and get started. We're gonna start on the M32 again, and then we're gonna do some settings in vMix. So on the M32, I'm going to select bus one. So I have bus one selected. I'm gonna click this button right here that says link. It's gonna ask me, do I wanna link bus one and two? So I've linked my two channels. I now wanna to go to our favorite menu, which is routing. I'm actually gonna go all the way over to user. I'm going to press down on the first knob, which will switch from input to outputs. I wanna select output one. I wanna scroll down to where it says output and then output on the category, it'll say output. On the output signal, it'll say output one. I wanna click down, so that sets that one. I wanna scroll the knob down to output two, scroll the, the, this knob down to output two as well, click it, it has output two. To confirm that I'm doing this correctly or I'm sending it down my card, I scroll back to card, user output and scroll, scroll all the way down to user, that's card, user one through eight, It'll be mix bus one and two on post fader. So far, so good, right? Okay. We're back in vMix. First thing I want to do is I want to add an audio input. My cable is hooked up as always, so I want to click input one and two from Clark Technic DN32 Live. Hit OK. And now we see this bouncing. I wanna pull up the speakers on my microphone actually. So I'm going to select bus one, which, so select send on faders. I'm gonna take this microphone out of this mix real quick. I've got music playing. So the music is still going to it. Flip on fader. And now I'm going to unmute my computer speakers. So I hear the music that is playing on the tablet going into the M32 and then now it's coming out of here. So let's bring in the microphone. Check, check, check one, two, check one, two. You can hear it kind of feeding back. So the first thing I actually want to do is I want to bring this up so that my record can hear me talking. From this microphone into the Midas into here. We already have that one working. So what's happening is I have a mix minus going on here. So I want you to pay attention to these. So this first input audio is going to my main or my master and it's going to bus A. The walkthrough it's going to the, my main and bus A actually. Uh, my input from my Midas going to main and not going to A. So that's why I don't hear it coming out of here. What does it look like over here? Actually, before we do that, what does it look like in my settings? All right, so let's go to settings and see what settings we've, we've got put in for this. Audio outputs. My master output right now is output one and two on the Midas. This could probably set, be set to default or something else. Because what's important is my A bus is set to outputs three and four. That's very important because, and get out of that, I'm gonna record, because this is one and two from vMix. This is three and four. This is what it's talking about, one and two and three and four. Now, you don't hear anything now because I have this fader down. You see now it's coming through. This is also when I just said we could probably, 
one and two, which I told it is my master, and then three and four, which is my bus A. One and two is all the way down. Three and four. You can hear it go out of the room. You can hear it come back in the room. I have a functioning two-way mix Midas between the vmix and the Midas. And say mix Midas Midas three times fast. I think this is everything. I think this is everything. I think I did it. It's hard <laughs> to do this in a little room. Um, it is hard to do this in a little room. So I'm gonna go get an iPad, join via a vMix call, and see what I hear from that way. That way. What I wanna do is I wanna talk on this mic, have it go into this board, into vMix and come out the vMix call. And then I want to talk on the other end of the vMix call and have it come out of that speaker without feedback. That's going to be the fun part. One person doing this and no feedback. I'll let you guys stare at my ceiling fan because that's always fun. All right, so check, check, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So I do hear it coming out of the tablet. Yeah, we're super technical here at um, my house. Uh, <laughs> so I have, so I have a vMix call coming in. There it is. So I have a tablet pointing at my ceiling fan, as you can tell, super, super professional. I have music playing next to it. Um, and I'm hearing it on the speaker. Yeah, I mean, that's... And nothing's feeding back on itself. And I could hear this microphone on the other end. I'm happy. I got it. Um, let's turn everything off real quick. Um, as promised, so that's the long way of doing this. Uh, a much simpler way of doing the audio from the Midas to this is one of these guys. Uh, we briefly talked about it last week as well. If you just wanna plug one of these things up, read this at, in as you can, link your mixed buses, you can set them to outputs one and two, just bring it into the focus, right? And a simple way to get audio from vMix to the board is one of these guys as well, or a fancier version of these. You're still gonna have to do some vMix settings so that you probably have, you need to have that second bus. So again, you're not feeding what you're getting from the Midas back into the Midas. Um, but you know, these are, different ways, but if you don't want to set all that up, you'd rather do all this before you get there and just run a single USB cable. I mean, I'm getting audio from a vMix call coming out my main speaker. I'll take that on one USB cable. And I have fader control. I'll definitely take that. So now my audio person can just do audio person stuff. If you guys could do me a favor and um, hit the like button as always, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Um, I'm trying to grow the channel. I'm trying to get feedback as to what you guys need or want. As always, I've been Redbeard and this is, this is what I do. This, this, is, this is it. This is me just sitting in a room being weird. <laughs>